Hi, everyone. It's Fiona here from FionaMarks.com, and I am back with Astrologam 3. Astrologam is a chance to get together with other astrologers and astrology enthusiasts and jam about a chart, something that you see in a chart, a way that you like to look at a chart. It can be a great way to test out your progress if you're beginning to learn to read charts and you want to check that you're seeing what everyone else is seeing. Sometimes people come along, they do all of their research and they don't say very much actually during the whole jam, but they just enjoy checking their notes as other astrologers go through what they see as the highlights or the important factors of the chart. So that might be the case for you if you're wanting to build your confidence that you are seeing exactly what astrologers are seeing. Why don't you come along? Or perhaps you're studying different parts of astrology. Would you like to come along and talk about this chart from the perspective of the Vargas? Now we're looking at Vincent van Gogh's chart and... Uh, this actually came up because one of the students in the current year three has handed in an essay about uh, Vincent van Gogh's D2, his horror chart, and uh, it inspired us to pick that for this topic. We needed a, a celebrity, we needed a, a person to focus on. So what, what springs out to you in these Vargas, look at that lovely D1 with so many well-placed planets, exalt, exaltation, we've got own home, lots of great friend. And what about how do we see that planets that are in such good dignity have yet created inside this person a life of great suffering, a certainly a life of great inner turmoil and uh, hardship inside uh, psychologically or emotionally. I'm wondering whether it is the D4 there. Um, we know from the birth chart that only the moon is in enemy dignity. But uh, what about the D4 of contentment? It's a little bit below average compared to that beautiful D1. We've got neutral sun, neutral moon, neutral Saturn. We've got great enemy Jupiter and a couple of friends, great friend. We could go and have a look at the layout of the D4 and see if that's contributing. We've also got a pretty average D10. This is our chart of status, of recognition, of our, how we're seen in the world, that um, how we stand out, what we're known for. And you can see the person may feel that their life should be spectacular, amazing with all of those good places of dignity. And yet the fruit of that um, in, in status and in work and in recognition is quite Mm, average, neutral, 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 got an enemy, got a debilitated, just got satin um, with any kind of above average dignity. So is that what was hard for the person to take the difference between what their life seemed to promise on paper and what it actually delivered in each of these categories? Um, I'm hoping that the student will come along and talk about the D2 because some excellent insights around the D2 there. And then look in that D16, we've got the debilitated moon um, and the debilitated Saturn in the D16 of general emotional security and happiness. Is this what has actually been so hard to, to cope with given the promise that seems to be in the D1 can the person find it too hard to reconcile what looks like should be happening in the D1, but what actually feels like is occurring in those specific areas of life? I know we've got other students who love to read deep into the Vargas, perhaps even down to the D60. I hope you'll come along. If you like to read Varga charts, you want to show us your favorite riffs and jam with us where we can bounce ideas off together. I'd love to have you come along. It's on Sunday the 8th of August. It's at 3 p.m. London time. I hope you'll join us. And until then, I'll say goodbye for now.